like I grew up not knowing that there was a God. And in fact, in my family, it was almost like an unspoken thing. Like, how could you, if you're like a scientist or if you're like a evidence-based person, how could you possibly believe in God? I've known my husband for about 15 years. And finally, about two years ago, I actually decided to ask him like one random day, like, hey, Brent, do you, do you actually believe in Jesus? <laughs> and, and he said, yes. So when I finally realized that like he actually had real faith, then I started to think like, what is it that's, um, yeah, what is it that's blocking me? I think I was trying to put God inside what I knew. And ever since I started, my faith started to grow. I think it really like expanded, expanded my worldview. I thought it would actually restrict my worldview. Then I was like on this border of of belief and unbelief. And then, you know, something happened to me. Um, they saw something in my brain and they thought, they thought it was suspicious for metastatic cancer. I saw those words and I'm like, you know, my world just fell apart. I mean, I have two young kids and all I could think about was like, what it would be like for them to grow up without a mother. It was the weekend, so nothing was happening, and I was in this limbo, and all I could do was pray. I mean, like, and never in my life have I ever just, you know, put my life in the hands of God. I never felt like that before. Then I got my PET scan on that Monday, which showed no cancer. I just remember, like, jumping up and down, and Long story short, it ended up being um, a very rare brain tumor, but they couldn't really um, confirm what it was until they took it out. I'm just anxious in general, but like the day of the surgery, I just felt, I must have been anxious, but I didn't feel anxious. It just, I felt like this, this peace. Sitting there for an extra hour when everyone else was like already wheeled away to their surgeries and I was like the only one left in that room. <laughs> by myself. I just remember having that that little booklet of, of Bible quotes that my small group made me and just feeling like I just I just felt like I was being held. Come home soon. I had been thinking about being baptized ever since I had the surgery and I recovered. Um, I was thinking, you know, it's kind of time. But I still kind of had trouble taking that step. My friend Sheila, who was in Alpha with me, she she was getting baptized on like a weekday night and she had invited us to come along. And I felt like if I didn't do it then, I would just never do it. Pastor Will said it wasn't, it's not like graduating from school, it's kind of like enrolling in a school. You're just taking that step into faith. <laughs> because I'm a very indecisive person, it helped me realize like how much I actually do depend on Jesus and how much faith I actually do have, that it's enough to take this step. I didn't want to get into my head anymore um, where I feel like I just go around and around and if you want to do it, <laughs> you just got to do it. I feel like the best things in my life have been unplanned <laughs> and I'm just realizing this now, you know. The best things in my life have been things I haven't been able to control. I was just completely unaware, just unaware of what God has done for me. And I think it's through things that, um, yeah, have been out of my control. That's how the best things in life have come to me.